Quap, the classic of classics in terms of mid lane. And Ryoya will play that. He, like crit barely has any XP and Bulba's already level two and a half. And again, he's just like Aaron creeps and oh, he got a nice air. He accidentally maybe got the DK on that one. Not sure if intentional, but it might score them a kill and it will. He's like, I'll take it. <laughs> it's, a, it's a two for one special. You go for the invoker mid, you yeah. try to take down this DK top. They're going for top. I mean, our tour's so, here. Yeah, everyone's rotating. Uh, Bulba going in. Still hasn't shown his blink dagger. It's still on the way. Oh, this was this was nice. They forced a uh, two TPs up here now, and they can they're just gonna maybe just take a fight here. Actually, now he's got the blink bottom. dagger. They'll see Moon. Bulba doesn't want to reveal it quite yet. Skeeter may have seen him though. Chase is on for our tour. They hit him with a tornado and an EMP and the rolling boulder, and they're gonna finish him off. But here comes Rioya. Sonic wave on in. Gonna get the finish on the Moon Meander. Rolling through and rolling back. Fly gonna get rolled over. They are aware this approach is coming. Most of their team is still down south. The early stun, uh, free little multi. Fly baits him in a bit. Now the Moonlight Shadow. The rotations are gonna come from crazy. Bryle jumps in but gets called out and caught from Bulba. Bulba looking to call them back, but everybody swarms onto Bulba. I guess EG, when they don't have everybody here at the ready, are second guessing that kind of commitment. Bulba, three poison stacks, pops the wand. Uh-oh. Now, oh god, Rioya now gets caught into the fire. And he just gets blasted down. EG just throwing themselves into the fight. Desperate to go for some finishes. They go for Kezu. The hand of God comes out. Boba engages once again. Somehow surviving and running out from the side. Tornado's gonna be there and Bryle should be able to snipe him and gets it. But it could cost Bryle's life. With Arteezy showing up and blasting them down, this is gonna be the turnaround point. There's the arrow onto Moon and a follow-up stun. and. That's a two for, for Arteezy. Maybe Solar Crest or something. Yeah, he has a BKB queued up next for himself. Yeah, as he leaves out the charge with the Bloodlust. Skeeter nearby. They round the corner. They have the OBS. Oh, but look, they get caught out with the Disruption Soul Catcher onto Fly. He'll tank the gank and the approach of Crazy. In return, they get a core Pango kill to trade off for a position five. Yep. And look Still at this, AG going right back in to the high ground of Crazy here. Hand to God, but Bryle eating way too much damage. Bulba trying to fight on forward. He's now going to be out of mana. Pops his blade mail and prays for the best, but loses his life. Artur also goes down, means that Crazy take this skirmish and force him out of the jungle. Yeah, Artur doesn't really do enough damage yet to just take him out in that first burst of, of damage. Uh, Aoi flexes the hand to God, and they're able to kind of survive, and... You know, Arteza doesn't have a support that is going to just bail him out, you know, not like an Oracle or a Grave or any sort of immediate save. So once he's in trouble, that's it. Here he is in trouble again, getting netted up. Owie's army, locking him down in spot. Moon hitting him with the Purge. He still stutter steps back and ultimately will fall. And Skeeter could be next. Nice catch there from Rio. He'll finish him off with that Sonic Wave. Kezu, who had bought back in the previous fight here in a bit of trouble. Tries to sidestep, now rolls, back forward, back forward. Knocking down Rioya, oh. knocking up Crit, up into the high ground. Moon Meander gets the finish of Rioya, and Crit from the high ground looking to go for Kezu. Kezu jumps up and takes him head on head. But there's the finish and the starfall and the pause. Bulba had like such an amazing call, but like Moon Meander was at the right place at the right time, you know, cause using a disruption on him. <gasps> oh, oh. <laughs> it's level one. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Do you want to go? Just, yeah, definitely respecting who's showing on the map for Crit. Oh, Skeeter catches out Crit from behind just as EG waddled through the river. Bulba, big call onto three. Sets up the Sonic Wave, but immediate hand to God. And now Crazy are ready to swing. They put Bulba to the river and finish him off. Rioya going to be next here. Crazy able to shrug off that catch and follow through with their movement all the way across the lane. Rioya will be finished. I mean, they have Spear Vessel, but Radiant they took Crit out early, so don't have to worry about it. And they spotted again. a tour. They're chasing him. He's Tornado actually dead. EMP and the Dragon Tail. And he's done for. Oh, trouble for EG now. Bulba jumps in, does get the call catch for Bryle. Moon there to help bail him out with the disruption, but they'll still get him. The dunk's there. 
Owie able to finish out a tower in the mid lane in the meantime, but EG not done yet. They'll take Moon too. Kezu pops the rolling boulder and rolls on out. Courier Arrow? pays the price. Oh, Arrow, oh, that, that Seder creep. Mr. President. Oh, don't matter. Bulba. Bulba with another call. Bulba! Bulba's back, baby. That's the Bulba Seb, right? Bulba. Yeah, they even get the outpost. Don't want to risk a crazy TP to the outpost kind of a play. And uh, this will look pretty uncontested. Oh, nice arrow. Actually catches the approach of that DK. Bulba will be able to grab the invis himself. Kezu tries rolling in. Is it in time? He's there. But obviously can't get out of the roll to grab up the Aegis. R2 will pick that one up. And here comes the boys in blue. Running back team crazy to the mid lane. Bryle tries to go into the ghost walk, but he is going to get scouted up and just muscle down. Double kill. Our two are back with a vengeance. But you have to see, like, his deaths are, like, really for the team because he's, like, bodying for his other teammates, his other fragile teammates, like the Slash and the Squap to get gone on. But instead, they just see this ogre and they don't want to just, like, ignore him completely, right? He's in front of their face. Just kill the person yeah. that's in front of you. Uh, our two are a little far forward here. Could Crazy get another catch onto him? They can, and that's going to be the Aegis. Now Ryoyo stepping in with the BKB. Bulba to step in next. Doesn't have his own BKB in next, but uh, Artur still holds his. Pops it. Fights for oh, double Lightning. Stun. Double stun. Oh my goodness. Sonic Wave from Ryoya. The fall from Kezu. He'll be next. And it's a triple kill for Ryoya. EG firing off on all cylinders here. Moon tries to turn around to see if he can get Bulba with that. That ulti hits him with another poison. Yes! Gets him. All that matters, I'm sure, for Moon is he wipes out the three times kill streak of Bulba. Oh, Artur to the high ground. Shadowblade Skeeter, they want to do this? Bulba follows up, gets the call onto DK. DK has that BKB. He decides to use it, pops a dragon for him, but he just gets Sonic waved and finished off. Owie, hand to God, a bit too late. Oh no, disaster for crazy. Rolls two. Yeah, Artur really trusted Bulba there. <laughs> oh uh, my God, didn't... from down, down the arrow! <laughs> Wonderful shot by Crit. Damn. And so all the BKB is finished on uh, DK. They're looking into this. Now they're looking for their play, but uh, I feel like their timing is a little off this time. They're even stronger now than they were in the previous fight. I mean, all the money they just gained from that push. You see Shiva's on Artur now. They might get the jump on the crit, a cute little support. Ryoya does step in, pops his own BKB. Hits him with a little scream. Looking to go for the finish on Moon, can't quite get it. Moon able to make it away. Kezu also has to possibly turn and run. Dishing out the rolling boulder though, does catch our two on the back lines, allowing them to maybe get a quick snipe on fly. No, here comes Bulba, jumping in with the call, with the dunk, finishing off Skeeter. And now he's gonna be out for a minute without a buyback. I, this could be it, finishing off the Invoker certainly hurts, and he does have a buyback, but really... Scotty and Quap, by the way. And that's the Tier 4. It's all Ancient. Buyback. Final hurrah. Coming out for Crazy here in game number one. Can they make anything out of it? Alright, decent damage. On to our tour here. But, uh, Ryoya is like, I'm ready for game two. <laughs> Just slap it away on the Ancient. And... It is going to be Evil Geniuses who claim game number one of this best of three. I mean, I don't know if it makes you feel any better, but I am fully in agree. I feel like uh, Crazy have the better draft. Lots of synergy. He has a tango. No, it's AUIs. He have one tango. So he feels really pressure right now. He kind of screwed up on his um, item build a little bit. Oh, goodness. Yeah, oh. he's in trouble here. The blinding light already came out, but it's not going to stop them from dishing out the spells. And Crit is going to get the last hit in. It's level eight. Wants to make something happen. They want to fight for the outpost. As 10 minutes about to strike. Kezu goes for it. As Fly gets jumped. Success grab at the last second. Alright, well, EG uh, Smoke. And head south here. Oh, look at Moon though. He's like, I'm gonna go for Fly. Fly who had may have been bait in the lane. Oh my god, he's so much damage from the Illuminate. Tries to run out. Moon chases him down and goes for the finish, but. Look at Ryoya jumping in, gets a beautiful coil onto Dew, blows up the coddle, looks to go for the bristle next. The stun comes yeah, out, and, and it's a swift finish over in the river. It's a chase out, one coochie for another, and that is track money in the pocket. Here comes Bryle, though. 
smoke. A crit has a smoke right now, so they've been looking into making a next play. Yeah, but I think they kind of want to play away from this bristle back now. Crazy uh, already smoked oh, at this mid lane, spotting out Artur. Oh, the wisp dropped, but it's on the edge. It's just enough for them to hold him in his spot and take him down. They know he doesn't have the time lapse already committing it in the previous fight. Rioya though, with that blink. Gets one of his own. They catch Kezu on the back lines. And now Brile wants vengeance. Jumping all the way into the high ground. Looking to chase down Bulba. Bulba makes it down low. But Crit will feel the wrath of Brile. Brile with the double kill. Oh, they're going to get the stuns. Oh, coil two. But they get the fateful pullback and burst to finish off Ryoya. There's the terrorize. But uh, nothing to really get the coil snap. And now the chase is on. Brile gets to jump onto Bulba and the roar. And it's a double kill for the storm. It's, like, mm -hmm. um, it, it's pretty nice with the. With the That's lace. true. Track will definitely benefit more from the percent. Oh, pull back, roar! Can they burst down our tour? Will wisp? Oh, it's enough. The tick is there from the wisp, and he can't get the ulti off. And now is crazy's time. They jump on in, finish out fly, and like roaches, eg run, bank shot for Bulba as he tries to make it away. Go win lay speed, go! Run to the trees. Oh, he gets lifted, pulled back. Oh, he's going to kill Moon. Not, not careful. Nice. They finished nice. him off. That is track money, too. Boba able to kind of cheese himself out of this, and they're going to get the potential finish on the Kezu, but here comes the approach once again from Brile. Brile going in and hitting hard. Is going to get blasted down. Crit does get that finish onto Kezu, and now the chase continues for Bulba. That's and it, it is all Skeeter. That, you know, it's going to protect me. It's good enough. Yeah, the earlier halberd, I guess they fear that the one true threat would just be someone like Artur, and if he doesn't have a Lincolns or anything, I can just shut him down in his spot. Plus, you know, no MKB, the evasion is going to be very annoying to deal with on this Bristleback. But look at, look at the uh, EG, they're trying to flank them from the side, going in for the coil cut, looking to get the jump on the Kezu and take him out of the fight. Nice will o -Wisp, though, doesn't stop him from going down. Crazy now hide within the trees to make it out. Blinding light bump, and a coil pull, and... They'll finish off Ryoya, and he's going to be forced to buy back. But Artur is starting to go in. This time, he will not be finished off in the fight, and he can dish out all the damage. He pops down, too. Ryoya able to score the Moon Meander kill on his return. Brile fighting within the trees, looking to go for the pullback. But no, can't get the finish. Artur able to get the time lapse off. He survives and runs back inside. Wow, well, you know, it's just a little bit of track money. Oh, bro. Oh. Jumps right to three. The Yules, the Root, and that's the Aegis. That was so nice. Can you take him a second time? Ryoya's coming. Moves in with the coil. They really want to commit it. The net, the burst, the track, and they got it done. Oh, what a blessing. Bryle just throws himself into the open arms of evil geniuses, and they take it home. Skeeter, though, able to at least blast down fly. Here comes our tour, though. He's dusted up. All right, back on Grim here. Insane. Whoa, whoa, he jumps all the way to the bottom lane. Or they're looking to get the catch on to fly. It's taking a bit of time. And the rest of EG come over to try to bail him out. He does end up going down, but they're fully committing to get rid of the Aegis here on the Storm. A follow-up pick again. onto Moon. A BKB pop from Artur. Now he gets roared up. He gets locked down. He gets finished. Artur is out. He does not have buyback. That's game, I think. I'm so damn frail. And you have no one there to, like, enforce and pull focus and... All that it just feels like, yeah, they're a bit squishy once they're locked down, and they had certainly enough lockdown with between the will o -Wisp, between the Primal Roar. I think it was just way too much firepower for him to handle, and that is it. They're going to call the game. We're going to another game number three between uh, going crazy and living evil. Uh, it's a matter of if crazy can disrupt that flow, uh, keep Alchemist in check. Battle for the bounties. A little bit here, Moon. They're going for a potential kill here on top. Uh-huh, tag team. Running him down. Good shard block. Moon Beander locks him in, and they get the finish. He hands it off to Kezu to pick it up. They're looking to finish out this tier one bottom lane. Ryoya standing on top of his ward, scouting of any possible rotation, but he has now been spotted and quickly jumped and finished. Troll committing the ult right away to burst down that Kunkka. And oh, EG no, hightail it the hell out of there. Possible bolt, but maybe caught. No, not hit with the stroke. To secure this bounty run. Oh, yeah, way up. I see top there. I don't want to divert my attention to bottom where they're fighting over the bounty runes. Moon rolls up to the high ground, uppercuts crit. It's like, you want to tip me? I'll give you something to tip. 
brings him down. Can he make it out with his life, though? He's been X'd. They pull him back into the boat and finish him off with the duel on top. Need to be able to do damage, but can't do damage if you are disarmed. There they roll in, looking to go for the jump on Alchemist. It's a cross-country track to get this one. Kezu sweeps him from behind. Bulbo waits. Hits him with the purge. He runs forward with the stun. Gets hit with a tornado. Can't find the target. Will he stun himself? No. Managed to get it off onto the troll. They spurge onto him, but a nice duel. Bulba pulls him right to his sights. And they will finish off that Aegis. Alk, though, also going to go down. They managed to muscle it forward. Kezu fighting with his last breath here. Also, Brile very low. Nearly goes down to the, to the cleave. And eventually, they both will fall. Rioya picking up the reins and fighting forward with his damage, but now has to face the second round of the troll. And a god, not nearly going to be enough. It's Skeeter here who's cleaning house. <laughs> it's a 1v3, and he's still doing work here. Nate just probably buys back. Oh, he slams down oh. the ult and helps get the, the secondary kill onto Bulba there. Yeah, round two certainly going to feel a lot tougher with these new items. And look at our tour confidently strutting up to the high ground. Does get isolated from his team a bit with the shards, but there's plenty of cast range to get the disruption off. Nature's ult. Snowball's in. They look to target fly, but pops the mech. Our tour looks to take it to moon. Still trying to run around here a bit. Now finds sight on the troll. And with the duel, they lock him in his spot. Our tour can't get off the right click. He's stuck in his spot. The disarm, though, also going to be committed onto the troll. And the disruption, he still continues to fight forward with that ulti, turns back onto our tour, but eventually will fall down. Decides to buy back, wants the TB back under the outpost to go in again. Kezu and Aoi, they run out the other side, and look who's coming in from behind. It's Skeeter once again. Hit him with the disruption. Crit gets hit with the sprout, and EG decides to turn and run where possible. Obviously crazy, want to make the most out of this buyback troll. And here they get, um, he X'd himself. That's a nice benefit of having the Kunkka. But look at Crazy's approach. They've scouted out Artur in the mid lane. He's got help around the corner. They hit him with the Spear Vessel. But he gets purged off. Now the Grim's there. Disruption to bail him out. Skeeter caught with the duel and then finished off. And he has no buyback. Certainly do not have enough to deal with the Alchemist. Especially when he's got friends around. Feeling strong with that Alchemist. Oh, this is the high ground... Um kind of end the game here by EG, what they're thinking about, because Heart is finishing up. Crazy holding their little high ground side position, not looking to high ground inside their own base. There's that disruption a bit early. Pop the heal. Heavy shot from Ryoya onto the two of them. Skeeter's going to be able to get off the ultimate. Tries to take it to the out, but there he is, disrupted. They wait for him to come back, and he just turns and slaps him down. Ooh! And again, Troll is going to get put six feet under for 40 seconds. Without a buyback. He saw the X, so he knows that Kunka can't TP back now. They're also pressuring in from Crazy now. Look at this. They're running out the front door. I mean, Aoi just gets blasted there from Arteezy. Troll trying to find backliners here. Trying to take it to Fly. Fly, though, gets that disruption help, and he goes down. Ryoya able to get the finish onto Bryle with that duel set up from Bulba. You know, can EG get close enough to dump anything in? X is going to be onto Aoi. He's like, look at me. Don't look in the pit. Look at me. Uh oh. And they get free dual damage, but they still manage to make it inside the pit. Moon's trying to block him out with the shards. Please don't come inside, but they throw the shark inside and they blow them up. And now he's like, I don't even want to see what happens with the Roche. The game's over. And uh, oh. it wouldn't have been any better. The Roche goes down. Anyone grab the Aegis yet? No. Nope. No. Nope. Kill it. Ah, nice job, it kills it. That's what we like to see. Oh my goodness. Yeah, game three. Uh, probably our more one sided game.